thank you, Atlanta. Well, three of you. Uh, once again, we are Inkwell, and this next song, Leela and I wrote together in a coffee shop, which turned into one of the worst days of Leela's life. You, you remember this? It was super busy, and I snagged us a spot at a table that hadn't really been cleared off yet. When Leela came to join me, she thought, you know, sweetheart that I am, I'd already ordered her espresso. When she took a sip, it turned out that not only was it someone else's old coffee, but they'd put out their cigarette in it. Ooh, sorry, Leela, guess you're the butt of that joke, huh? Tom, I asked you so many times not to tell embarrassing stories on stage. Leela, you're being really unprofessional right now. Who cares? I asked you to stop. Hi. Hey. I'm so sorry. Do you have something warm, like tea? Nowhere else was open. Uh, we just have coffee, but, uh, for you, it's on the house. Oh, thanks. Yeah. As long as it's warm. No problem. Okay, um, so this uh, is- Sorry, we will resume our set after a five minute break. Uh, what? Where you go? Hey, stranger. Tom? Yeah. Hi. Yeah, I can't even remember. <laughs> Me too. Who uh, is she? Sorry, Leela. This is Sarah. She's an uh, old friend. Um, we haven't seen each other in ages. I thought you moved to Chicago. I did, but I just came back. Hi. You are the bandmate, right? I'm actually Tom's girlfriend, Leela. Oh, nice to meet you. Yeah. Don't mind Leela. She never leaves a good first impression. Tom? What? It's the truth. I, I mean, like, the first time she met my parents, you know, she, she spilled lemonade all over my dad's crotch. And, like, a total spaz, she grabs a napkin, she's trying to dab it all up. And right then, right then, my mom walked back in. She was so shocked, she dropped an entire casserole. I mean, green beans were everywhere. It was not that funny. And one coffee for the pretty blonde lady. That's me. Thanks. So, Sarah, now that you're back in town, why don't you come over for dinner some night, like, say, Friday? Sure. Yeah, just pizza, nothing fancy. Sure. Here, look. Here's my business card. Just text me. Thanks. Sure. I will. All right, see ya. You too. How do you know each other? Oh, uh, just high school. You know, we used to hang around. Um, we you say we'd get back up there, huh? Tom, it was not cool the way you told the story about me. Not now. Come on, we can't keep our fans waiting. Thanks for having me. Of course. Thanks. Grab that for you. Thanks. Of course. You are welcome. Hi. Hey. Welcome. Thanks. Make yourself at home. Hey, you. Be nice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wow, Lila. You did not come out of that story well. I don't seem to come out well in any stories that Tom tells. Anyways, you should try parallel parking in a storm. Uh, I mean, it was just the fact that, like, I don't think there was a spot on her car that didn't hit something that day. Like, there were even dents in the hood. It was ridiculous. I think you're over-exaggerating a little. Mm. But hands up, that was the worst parallel parking ever. Okay. Anyways, why did you guys stop hanging out? Oh, that was probably my fault. <laughs> I cheated. <clears throat> yeah, but I mean, I'm totally over that. I mean, it was so long ago. I'm confused. Cheated? Uh, yeah, I, I mean, 
I made out with another guy one night and I'm confused because I didn't know you guys were dating. Uh, yeah. I guess I forgot to mention that. Hmm. It, it was just a brief thing back in high school, you know. We were just kids. And when that ended, so did the high school. And we both went our separate ways. <laughs> I haven't seen you like in what, five years? Oh, at least. So, how long did you date? Oh, oh I don't I mean, remember. It was just a few a, weeks a or few months, something like that. Maybe. Yeah, I don't even really know if it counted. Yeah. Honestly, it was just like two kids messing around, you know. I hope you're not too bothered by it. I, th I thought Tom mentioned it. He didn't. Um, I'm sorry, hon. I. It was so long ago, I, I, I really didn't even think about it. Well, it's just something you had mentioned, right? It was so humiliating. I had to reframe the entire night in five seconds. Who Sarah was, how she fit into Tom's life, and the fact that he didn't tell me. <sighs> and that hug, when we met at the bar, that was not we're just friends, kind of hug. It was at least three Mississippis. Whoa, sheesh. Three Mississippis. That is more than a casual hug. I'm and so all those humiliating stories that he was selling to her, he told them to an ex? God, there should be laws against that. Have you actually thought about breaking up? I mean, I know you have the band, but you could go solo. To be honest, it's been on my mind. If he keeps pulling this crap, I just might. Well, I know how you can get back at him. How? Start telling dumb stories about him in between songs. You know, dumb Tom stories. Embarrassing for him. <laughs> I don't know if I could do that. Look, look, look. Why not? You know, I'm always right. Just put a bunch of stories together and make it look like you're pulling it out of your ass each time. That's the only way he's gonna get the hint. I, ha I will actually think about it. Just <laughs> do it. So that last song I actually had to write by myself. I'm sure Lila would have helped me, but she was stuck on the toilet after eating some bad fish tacos. Tom. Yeah, while her bowels were exploding, so was my creativity. Yeah. Uh, there she goes again, folks. Must be those fish tacos. No bueno. Um, well, while she's in the bathroom, how about a solo number? God. What the hell? It was only three people, right? Maybe one day there's gonna be a full house and then what? I can't have a guy standing next to me telling diarrhea jokes. Maybe that's why we're not going anywhere. Romana, you're always right. I'm going to take her advice. Yeah, I can finish the set alone. I mean, Leela's great for the harmonies and all, but Inkwell's really my band. You know better. Hi, Leela. Are you feeling better? Hey, Leela. Another killer set, huh? 
You made it 20 minutes before embarrassing me, but I guess so. Hey, you gotta do what you gotta do to entertain the people. Am I right? This guy knows what I'm talking about. You've heard all our funniest stories. Yeah, man. I think you might need that. Boys, yeah, I think this is uh, it's like a little nice acidity, but it really does like have the balance. <laughs> Thank you. That was a song called Arboretum. Oh yeah, and this next track, oh, this one has a funny story behind it. So Tom really likes my body wash smell. So he went into a shower and he took my body wash and he used it. Though it was not a body wash, it was actually a hair remover. So for the whole next month, he was walking with a hairless body, just like a baby, right Tom? <laughs> So this one time... Oh, I got this, Tom. So a few weeks ago, we had a concert out of town, and he took the bottle, and he peed in it. And while we were driving back home, he really was thirsty. So this next song reminds me of a time when Tom thought he can change a car oil for himself. Sunflower oil was not the right type of oil to do the job. Tom renewed his driver's license and they asked him if he wanted to be an organ donor. And he seriously asked, will it hurt? Really? <laughs> well, that was something. Lila, what the hell? I hated doing that. I just wanted you to know how I've been feeling. No, but that's not our act. That's not our act? But it's our act when I feel uncomfortable with it? Well, yeah, it, it was. But, no, listen, Leela, I've been trying really hard to, to lead this band and, and, and to make us work, but you know what? I can't do it anymore. Not with you. Now that Sarah's back, I. Sarah, listen, I, I never really got over you, okay? What do you say we try this again? Uh, no, Tom, I mean, actually, I'm, I'm not into guys. What? Yeah, I, I mean, I like women. I'm sorry if you thought there was something between us. Oh, no, no, you, 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 you thought I was serious? No, I, I, I was kidding. I, no, it's cool, we're, we're cool. Um, <clears throat> uh, no hard feelings, right, Leela? Yeah. Hey, Leela. Sorry, guys. I'm supposed to pick you up before we head over to the uh, record label office, okay? Why was this schmuck? Well, I actually, I went ahead and I started my own solo career. I'm actually really happy. I have a bunch of gigs and the record label, it signed me. Lily, you're going solo? Yeah. That's amazing. Good for you. Let me know when your show is, I'd love to go. Hey. No offense, uh, what's your name again? Wait, no, a, a record deal? But. I tried so hard and nobody wanted us. Tom, nobody wanted you. Nobody wants a bully. Uh, but solo shows, I, how did, when did you? I thought to myself, like, why are we not getting anywhere? And I realized that the problem is you. Oh. I don't know, people think I'm hilarious. I, I'm, I'm hilarious. Right? You can be. But you just really had to tone it down, Tom. And it's never funny when your partner isn't laughing with you. That's just being mean. I forgot to tell you, um, 
I'm moving out tomorrow. Everything's planned and sorry. Good luck, Tom. Leela, see you in the car, okay? Okay, I'm gonna grab my gear and be there. Bye, Tom. Hey, Tom. I'm sorry for all of this. I'd gladly buy you a drink as a friend. I feel so humiliated. Come on. It's going to be okay. Hey. Can we get, I don't know, anything strong? Yeah, what do you need? Five shots for him. By the way, I'm so happy Gary decided to go on vacation with us. To think we've been together for years and I've never even met her yet. I know, I'm so glad. I hope you guys get to be best friends. Oh, oh that must be her now. Go ahead. <laughs> oh my God, I'm so happy to see you. I missed you so much. I never get to see you enough since you went away to college. I know, I know, my program is just so busy. Oh, I know. <laughs> This must be Charles I hear so much about. It is. Oh, it's so nice to finally meet you. <laughs> yes, it is. Uh, nice to meet you. <laughs> so, are you gonna join us out on the town? We're gonna go for a walk, look around? Well, I mean, I wanna hear all about your trip, but I really wanna get into the hot tub. I just love hot bubbly tubs. I don't know. And can't wait to wear my new bikini. Oh. Okay, <laughs> okay, enjoy yourself, sweetie. But we're gonna meet at the bar later tonight, right? Okay, sounds great. Love you, Mom. Mm -hmm. Love you too. Bye, Charles. Bye. She seems nice. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Crazy, right? Yeah. Mm. Mm. Well, I guess Candy's running late. Oh yeah, she is. You know what? I'm feeling more tired than I thought. I might just head back up to the room. Mm. I'm tired too. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, wait. There's Candy. Uh -huh. <laughs> Hi, honey. Hi. I feel so good. Hot tub, steam bath. That was just what I needed. Oh. Yeah. How was your walk around town? Uh, actually, uh, we were just talking about how we were kind of tired and we're gonna probably head back up to the room. And uh, no, no, I'm fine. Maybe oh. I can stay a little. Yeah. Oh, really? Mm, sure. Okay. Oh, I wouldn't want you to wear yourself out. You might feel poop tomorrow. <laughs> well, you know how the saying goes. If you can't face the consequences, don't do it. No, I'm perfectly fine. Just a little. Yeah. Yeah? Mm -hmm. Well, if you're sure, then it's a perfect opportunity for my two favorite people to get to know each other better. Yeah. Uh -huh. There you go. <laughs> All right, love. Okay. Mm. See you, honey. Yeah. See yeah. you. Yeah. Bye. See you, Mom. Enjoy your time. What can I get for you? My treat. Uh, your treat. Yeah. Uh, well, thank you. <laughs> well, why don't you surprise me then? Hmm? Surprise? But something non alcoholic. Okay, I have something in mind. I'll be back. <laughs> Holy jeez, she is so beautiful. Charles, stop. You're blushing in front of her. You should be past this. It does feel nice though, doesn't it? No, it doesn't, you prick. It feels bad. Okay, let's just get some mocktails. Something fun. He seems nice, but why is he so stressed? I don't know if he feels pressure because him and mom are married. Maybe mom just made him feel like we have to be best friends. I mean, okay, I wasn't always the nicest to her boyfriends growing up. Maybe that's why she could be afraid of not liking Charles. But things are different now. I'm an adult for crying out loud. I'm getting her a drink because she's Mary's daughter. Mary's daughter. Don't forget that she's your wife's very, very hot daughter. 
Not like it would be wrong for me to be with someone her age. Maybe if I'm nice to him, he'll relax a bit and mom will be happy. Okay, I'll try to be extra nice to Charles so that they can both chill and enjoy this vacation. There you go. <laughs> Let's see if you like my surprise. <laughs> Cheers. Charlie, can I call you Charlie? Sure, sure. Yeah? yeah. <laughs> Sounds good. Mm. Uh, so you had a nice flight? Yes, yes, uh, right on time. Yeah, and uh, yours, your flight? Well, um, I actually took a series of, you know, carpools, ride shares, no, Oh et god, that must have taken so long. Yeah, um, but I got to work on my master's thesis. Right. I, didn't my mom tell you? Um, no, I actually don't know what you're studying now. Well, um, it's actually uh, behavioral psychology. Um, the... I can see you're not really interested. No, no, it's fine. I just don't know much about, you know, behavioral things and so. <laughs> yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. You know what? Tell me. I feel like dancing. Would you like to join? Dancing? Um, no, may maybe not. <laughs> Okay, um, you don't mind if I do? No, of course not. Uh, go ahead. That was awkward. I don't have kids of my own, so it wouldn't be weird that she is younger, right? Except she's your wife's daughter, you moron. Good morning. Oh, have you been awake for long? Good morning, sleepyhead. No, only about 20 minutes. Uh. Who's that in the shower? Oh, that's Candy. Apparently there was a problem with the shower in her room, so I said she could just come in here and use ours. Thanks for the shower, Mom. No problem, dear. Good morning, Charles. I hope you slept well. Yeah. yeah. Bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Bird, starting the day with a tea. Yeah, are you gonna have coffee? Of course. <laughs> All right, let's see Charles. No. Yeah. You know, you don't have to be so shy around Candy. She's like your own daughter. Yeah, right. Like my own daughter. Well, I'm gonna let you get started on your slow morning, and I'm gonna go to that pottery class that I booked. <laughs> but we're meeting Seaside at 11, right? Yeah, right. Okay, see you later. Ciao. Oh my God, Candy's legs. Why did I have to see that? It's like she's trying to get to me. Is Mary okay with it? I didn't know she was into that sort of thing. Oh, is she? She's back, and I'm alone with her. Is mom here? Oh, well, she just left. Oh. You wanna come in? Sure. Go ahead. Uh, mm. I was wondering if mom could help me out with some math problems I have. Math? I use math every day. Maybe I can be of help. <laughs> Are you good at statistics? Am I good? Oh, come on. I was a math lead. <laughs> <laughs> well, how lucky am I to have a capable man like you available? Are you okay? Yeah, I'm, I'm fine. It's just, uh, 
I just woke up, you know. Oh, well, you look yeah. great. You don't look like you just rolled out of bed. Oh, thanks. Uh, let's have a look at that math problem. Yeah, yeah. Of Show me. Yeah. Um. What did she mean with that comment about how I look? Maybe she just meant to be nice and me being available? Or no, she couldn't have meant. I mean, though we are in a room alone, but Mary. Charles is looking so stressed, but I'm doing everything I can to be nice. What's up? At least mom looked happy this morning. I guess I should keep on being nice to Charles. He's nice enough. Just a little creepy, maybe. Maybe I'm doing the same thing I did when I was younger, and I'm just starting to find reasons to hate mom's boyfriend. Oh, well, husband. Okay, I'll keep on being nice to Charles. When we are close, there is something electric. That can't be my imagination. Some of it has to be real. Oh, who am I kidding? A girl that pretty would never be attracted to an old fart like me. But there are all these guys older than me who get younger girls. Maybe she likes older men. Why am I thinking these thoughts? I have to stop. I'm supposed to solve this math problem. I have to focus. Okay, Charles may be a little rusty. He's looking at me more than at the math. Maybe he wants me to solve the problem and he'll correct me, right? That's why. That's what a good teacher would do, I suppose. I'll solve it and ask questions as I go. Are you available, Charles? You're such a capable man, Charles. Won't you come and dance with me? Wow, mom! Woo! Okay, I'm officially tired. Mm. I am gonna go back to the room. Huh? Mom, we're supposed to have fun. I know, I know, honey, but I think my party days are over. You two bonded so well yesterday. Just do it again tonight. Now she's encouraging me to spend time with Candy. Has she realized we're getting closer? Maybe Mary is open minded. Oh boy, another evening with Charles. He's getting sweaty already. What's up with him? The nicer I am, the twitchier he gets. Just don't stay up too late, okay? Yeah. Okay. Bye. Bye. Can I get you anything? Same as last night? Well, okay. Um, no. Do you have any drink with hot sauce? I had some before and I loved it. I'm a little in the mood for a spicy cocktail. Spicy. In the mood for a spicy cocktail. Okay, I'm gonna get you something spicy. There is your oh. spicy cocktail. Thank you. This feels wrong, but I love it. It feels like I want to feel. I can do anything. I haven't felt like this for so long. Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, but you got some pepper on your lips. Right over there. What are you doing, Charles? Come on, you're so beautiful. Stop it! Let's take this up to your room. Oh, you better stop. Mom, I don't want any part of this. I can explain. Damn it. What can I explain? What did she see? I was halfway back to the room, and I realized I wasn't too tired to come spend time with my family. And what do I see? I see my husband. My husband trying to kiss my daughter. Do you have any sense of decency? It's not like what you think. I don't want any part of this thing, Mom. I know, honey, I know. I'm not mad at you. Really, I'm not. I am angry that I married this scumbag. And as for you, Charles, you think you can play? You think you can just run around kissing whoever you want to? If you can't face the consequences, don't do it. You don't value me? I can go into any bar in any city at any time and I can get any man I want to. What is that supposed to mean? 
this. Hi. What are you doing right now? Oh. Want to go back to my room? Sure, maybe. What's going on? Oh. Candy, I'm so sorry. Mary. Mary, wait. This is the last time I'm ever going on vacation with them. Hey, Secret Keepers. We hope you enjoyed another great episode of Secret Diaries. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to share and subscribe. And uh, since we're standing in front of the green screen, uh, we're going to strike a few poses and we dare you to turn us into a few memes. <laughs> All right.